سلامنا على عباده الذين اصطفى ما بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ولقد اتينا موسى الكتاب وجعلنا معه اخاه هارون وزيرا فقلنا اذهبا الى القوم الذين كذبوا باياتنا فدمرناهم تدميرا وقوم نوح لما كذبوا الرسل اغرقناهم وجعلناهم للناس ايه واعتدنا للظالمين عذابا اليما وعادا وثمود واصحاب الرس وقرونا بين ذلك كثيرا وكلا ضربنا له الامثال وكلا تبرنا تدبيرا ولقد اتوا على القريه التي امطرت مطر السوء افلم يكونوا يرونها بل كانوا لا يرجون نشورا واذا راوك ان يتخذونك الا هزوا اهذا الذي بعث الله رسولا ان كاد لا يضلنا عن الهتنا لولا ان صبرنا عليها وسوف يعلمون حين يرون العذاب من اضل سبيلا ارايت من اتخذ الهه هواه افانت تكون عليه وكيلا ام تحسب ان اكثرهم يسمعون او يعقلون ان هم الا كالانعام بل هم اضل سبيلا صدق الله العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين last time we had read that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that when these people are showing adversity to you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's way is that for every Nabi and every pious person Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates enemies who create a challenge and adversity to the friends of Allah to the people of Allah and that's how the way Allah has done in the past so adversity should not deter anybody or should not uh, uh, the nabi of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost and anybody who's on the right path opposition should not make them lose heart and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had said that we had read that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says sends, sends down the quran gradually one of the reasons being the quran is for the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam a consolation so in this set of ayat that we recited today allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is yet and again giving that uh, cons- consolation to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam by mentioning some previous anbiya and what happened to the people who opposed them wa laqad atayna musa alkitab wa ja'alna ma'ahu akhahu haruna wazira allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the past gave musa alaihi salam the book and appointed his brother his brother harun ala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam as his wazir assistant helper minister with him fa qulna dhaba ila al qaum alladhina kadhabu bi ayatina fa dammarnahum tadmira so we said we commanded them go both of you to the people who have rejected our signs so firaun and the people who were following him had rejected the signs that they had got from previous nations that if you do not listen to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and claim to be god allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like it also the signs of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that aql that logic understands that we are not in control allah is in control and still firaun chose to claim his godship so this is the meaning that they uh, rejected the signs of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fadammarnahum tadmira then we annihilated them totally when they did not listen to the nabi so this is not only the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but if you think about it every single nabi this is how they were they had to face a opposition and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also telling the people that what happened to those who did not believe and opposed the anbiya wa qaum nuh and the people of nuh lamma kadhabu ar-rusul aghraqnahum wa ja'alnahum lin-nas ayah when they rejected the messengers we drowned them and made them so this punishment it became an example for mankind wa atadna lilzalimin adaba and we have prepared a painful punishment for the transgressors so not only in this world but in the hereafter as well 
their punishment is going to be very painful. Wa'ad wa Thamud wa Ashab al Ras. Ad, the people of Ad, people of Thamud, and Ashab al Ras, the people of Ras. Ras generally means well. So it says, it, the story is mentioned that a part of the people of Thamud, they were, they had left and they were established somewhere else uh, by a well, by a source of water. And these, this is the mention of those people, Ashab al Ras. And these are the ones, the few that Allah SWT is mentioning, but many generations between them were also destroyed because of not listening to their Nabi. To each of them, we cited examples. So they were not drowned or killed or annihilated without any. Uh, giving them a chance first. No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them so many examples and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so, showed them so many signs. Still, they chose to reject each of them. To each of them we brought utter ruin. The pagans of Makkah, these mushrikeen of Makkah, that they are, they are denying the Quran to be the word of Allah and they are denying the day of judgment and punishment these people when they go to sham they pass over a town al qarya allati umtirat matarassaw that was afflicted by an evil rain a bad rain sent down to him, to them so this is about the people of sayyidina lut ala nabina salatu wassalam who engaged in sodomy and were pelted with stones from the sky أَفَلَمْ يَكُونُوا يَرَوْنَهَا So they have not been seeing it. بَلْ كَانُوا لَا يَرْجُونَ نُشُورًا Rather they do not believe in resurrection. So the point again is that these people they are asking for different ridiculous signs and coming up with different demands from the Prophet It's not that they want to believe or they have any confusion in their mind. Rather they do not believe in the hereafter. That is the reason why they are doing all those things. وَإِذَا رَأَوْكَ إِنْ يَتَّخِذُونَكَ إِلَّا هُزُوًا أَهَذَا الَّذِي بَعَثَ اللَّهُ رَسُولًا Allah. When they see you, the Prophet ﷺ, they say, أَهَذَا الَّذِي بَعَثَ اللَّهُ رَسُولًا Is this the person? They say as a laughing stock that this person, he's so poor, he, he's, he's, uh, he has no worldly means. Is he the person? Is he the one that Allah, na'uzu billah, sent as a messenger? In kada la yudhilluna an alihatina lawla an sabarna alayha. And they say that although he is, so they are saying that on one hand, and the other hand they are saying that this person has such a magical voice, he has so so much magic behind him and so much sihr behind him that he had the scheme Narzubillah that he brought, Narzubillah Hasha Wakallah, he would have made us go astray from our false gods, from our gods. Lawla an sabarna alayha had we not been steadfast. So he would have definitely let us astray if we were not steadfast on our worship of our gods. وَسَوْفَ يَعْلَمُونَ حِينَ يَرَوْنَ الْعَذَابَ مَنْ أَضَلُّ سَبِيلًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying very soon you will find. They will know when they will see the punishment who is farther astray in his way. You are saying that نَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is astray uh, and he would have led you astray. You will find out soon. أَرَأَيْتَ مَنِ اتَّخَذَ إِلَاهَهُ هَوَا Famous ayah of the Quran, the Allah says, Tell me about the person, tell us about a person who has taken his desire as his God. So, this means that not only idols, physical idols, are made ilah sources or gods, false gods by people, but hawa, desire, which is against the Sharia is also a god that people make and establish in their heart it's an idol and they start worshipping it rather than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala أَفَأَنْتَ تَكُونُ عَلَيْهِ وَكِيلًا so tell me who becomes a guardian for him for that person who follows their desire the Prophet ﷺ has called that person a stupid person who follows their desire in this world they follow their desire and place their trust in Allah follow their desire and place their trust in Allah. Such a person is foolish. They will find out on the day of judgment, may Allah protect us. So therefore, Allah SWT is saying that these people, they, did you look at them? Tell me about those people, who is going to come to their support, who is going to be their wakil or guardian for them. Those who make their hawa, their desire, their God. So when Allah says one thing, and Allah brings them to, wants to come, them to come to sense, they don't want to listen to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they want to listen to their desire. This ayah alone 
is enough to bring Muslims to uh, to bring non-Muslims to Islam today, because if you think about it, not accepting Islam generally is because people don't want to give up their life of desire and their life of uh, whatever they want to do. If they are they are willing to submit to the fact that there is a hereafter and that we are not slaves of our desire, then they are willing to. If they are if they are ready to give up their uh, uh, their 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 um, evil pleasures, then they are willing to accept Islam and Deen. Am tahsabu an aktharhum yasmauna wa yaqilun? Allah. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is saying, Do you think that they listen or they understand? Do you think that they are human beings? Because the human being is that they not only hear but they understand, and they have sense. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is saying that these people who are following their desire. Do you think they they hear? Do you think they listen? And do you think they understand? In whom illa kal anham, they are like animals. They are like cattle. And this is not only just language of the Quran that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has you know strong terms, but it has a lot of meaning behind it. If you think about it, cattle is some, or animals are those creation of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala that only follow their desire. Their job is that they eat, they grow. They produce diffuse and they die. So these people they want to live like cattle. They want to eat and fulfill all their desires and graze wherever they want, and then finally die. No belief in the hereafter. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is saying, "In whom kalla, in whom illa kal anam, they are nothing except like anam cattle. Bal hum avallu sabila, not even like cattle, rather worse, rather more astray, because even Cattle, if it was given to them, if it was, if they had the capacity, they would have also accepted. But these people, they have the capacity and still choose to live like cattle. So they are actually indeed worse than cattle. And it has not happened to cattle that the right message was delivered to them and they could understand it, and then they chose to neglect. But these people, being human beings, Allah gave them intellect. Allah gave them understanding, and still, after listening the right and true signs of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, listen to them, they chose to deny. So they are not like cattle; they are even actually worse than cattle. Allahumma aafina wa aafu anna. Allahumma la tajalna min al kuffar. Allahumma inna nasaluk al huda wa tuqa wa al afaf wa al ghina. اللهم اجعلنا من أهل القرآن الذين هم أهلك وخاصتك وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلق سيدنا ونانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أمين رحمة الله الرحمن الرحيم